uh, complimentary playoff our GT is our what we call our inverted GT. And this is a, this has been a, a staple of our offense uh, forever and ever. Uh, it's a great play. It's a great misdirection play. It's a great read play because it's it's not only is a misdirection play, but it's a read play. Um, and all we're doing is we're making our quarterback the dive player or the counter player, and we're making our running back now the keep perimeter player. So we're reading the end just like we normally would. If the end comes up field and chases that back across the face flow, quarterback's going to disconnect and he's going to pull it and run GT. If that defensive end is disciplined and taught to get in the tackle's hip pocket, now the quarterback's going to hand this ball off and we are blocking perimeter run on the outside. So we're teaching these guys by rule that they are blocking perimeter run. We're trying to get this ball outside and go. Okay. Typically, I'll tag a gift route to the boundary or to the single receiver away from uh, the perimeter or to the call side. So in this case, we call this UMass. All of our GT plays are U plays. And, and if, you, uh, if you looked at my installing your offense during the spring um, video, then you, talked, you heard about how we categorize our, our plays. But all of our GT plays are U plays. So UTEP is our traditional GT read that we just talked about. Now we, when we want to invert it, we call it UMass. All right. We're a hand signal team, uh, and so we just have different variations um, of our hand signals. But as soon as our offensive line he hears a U play, we call them U plays, they know they're running GT. They know they're running counter track. Okay, so we've got perimeter blocking over here. We're reading the end man on the line of scrimmage, this guy right here. Flat mesh. We want this guy to come flat across quarterback space. He can lose a little bit of ground to gain ground. If the defensive end comes up field, slow plays, chases at all, the quarterback's going to disconnect, and he's running the GT. Okay? Really, really good play for an athletic quarterback. Uh, we've had a lot of quarterbacks run for a lot of yards running this scheme. Okay? Same look out of two backs. We're running GT to the, to the boundary. We're pulling two. Same rules apply. We're reading the end man on the line of scrimmage right here. If he comes up field, and, and you can see these guys, even though they're taught to get in the tackle's hit pocket, that running back flashing across their face really makes it a difficult uh, play for the defensive end to stay disciplined. If he comes up, disconnects it all, quarterback's going to tuck it and run. Okay. Odd stack team, 3-3 three, three stack team. Again, I talked about how we like to run this play to a three-man surface. So now we're, we've got a nub tight end to the boundary. All right. Uh, we're running the perimeter towards the bottom of the field. And this they have a perfect blitz call here. They're running double edge pressure. We're going full down. So we're blocking back to that four eye. They have two off the edge. They've got one guy to tackle dive. They've got one guy to play perimeter. But what happens is that first guy off the edge, he sees that back flash across his face and he just can't help himself. All he needs to do right here is just stay disciplined and he makes a play. But that, that back across the face really screws with these guys and the quarterback gets it. We've got some extra numbers now here. Double team between the tight end and tackle. I'd like to see that a little bit more of a push. We're kicking the end man on line of scrimmage right now, which ends up being that corner that crashes. We're getting this thing up and going. Okay, I'd like to see our backside tackle scan inside out. Scan inside out. So you see, he sees a threat. He thinks this guy's more dangerous than this guy. He's going to peel back and pick him up. Okay, three by one. We're running counter tray with the quarterback back to the boundary. We've got a snap route called into the boundary. This would be a case when the safety comes down. If the quarterback wants, he can check this to a vertical. Okay, this would be a scenario where he could check it to a vertical. Great misdirection play. 3-4 team right here. Three or yeah, uh, that's maybe a 4-2 right here. Center's blocking back, A gap to B gap. We got a deuce front side to the stack. And I'd like to see our backside tackle scan inside out. If there's nothing inside, get your eyes scanned out. One more time from the top. Same look right here. We're blocking perimeter. There should be, should be some communication here. These guys can work a combo call from here to here. If they don't feel this guy's more dangerous, they can work solo, solo, and leave this guy unblocked. But you can see these defensive ends, it's a tough play for them when they see that back flashing across their face. And this is a replay. So I know everything I'm showing you is a quarterback keeping it, but this is a pure replay. So if that end crashes, we're going to hand it off. We just we don't get a lot of that because it's tough for high school defensive ends to stay disciplined on their key when they see that back coming across their face. Show you a few more of these and then show you a variation that we started playing with this year. OK, 
Okay, here's a snap route into the boundary. So I'm not sure if I'm crazy about this because the corners kind of squat and playing heavy. Uh, but our quarterback likes he likes the 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 boundary snap throw right here. I won't let him take this. This gets a little scary um, only because we're not getting hands on this end right now. So it's a little bit sketchier of a throw. Quarterback sometimes has to get a little creative with his arm angle and his feet, give himself some room to get that out. But we're going to tag that because we want to make sure that we give our kid a chance um, to force the defense to defend the whole field. Now, here's some older film, all right, where you get that end squeezing hard and we're forcing the ball outside. We're handing off, we're blocking perimeter. I would like to see the number three check most dangerous. Don't just go chase the man over him. He's got to check most dangerous. So if they bring the second guy off the edge, we need to take him right now. Okay. But now we're handing the ball, we're getting on the perimeter and going to work. Same thing right here. Okay. Get a tight squeeze. Get a tight squeeze. We're handing the ball off. We're blocking perimeter on the outside. These guys are working a combo called a most dangerous. Okay. They were working combo to most dangerous. We left this guy unblocked. We should have done a better job right here. Okay, and then one thing that we started doing this year, and I'm gonna show you one cut up of it, is this guy right here is pretty special, 10, 10, 10 400 meter guy uh, that uh, we wanted to get the ball to him. And so we started doing same side as the read. So we're putting the back on the same side. Now the quarterback's gonna open up and he's the, the running back on the snap is gonna jab step and he's gonna open up and get into that pitch phase or get into that toss phase. The quarterback is just gonna kind of shuffle towards the read end. If the read end is squeeze and tackles pull, we're gonna to toss it out right now, okay? And now we're just blocking straight perimeter on the outside, and that's a way. We're running GT, it's still, we're running it to a three-man surface against the odd front team. If this defense then chases, the quarterback's gonna pick the toss and run the counter. In this case, disciplined defensive end, he gets in the tackle's hip pocket, and bam, we got the ball on the perimeter right now to one of our most dynamic players, and that's what we're trying to do. So we get it outside, we're blocking perimeter, good job, we tell our receivers and our offense, if you can't block, if, you, if you're unwilling to be physical, you can't play for us, okay? So this was a really good change up this year for us is to just run the same side read against disciplined teams, defensive end. If he takes any kind of squeeze on tackle pull, then we can get this ball on the perimeter right now. Really effective way to get the ball outside. 